Hey there, YouTubers. It's Saturday, June 15th. There's a rally downtown this morning. Uh, pro impeaching the U.S. Pres. And, um, you know, I could walk there and back and it would be good exercise. And I was invited to do that. And I like walking with people. But I was up a lot of the night listening to comedy. I was liking to... Uh, Liking Gaffigan and a uh, Iglesia guy. I'd actually heard him before about his trip to Saudi Arabia. He imitates, you know, Arab speaking and so on. He's a funny guy. And Gaffigan I've always liked. This is my friend David Kosky playing with the Utragon concept and the ETUs here down the corner. Uh, Victor Schauberger, he was a big star of my last video. I was expressing my appreciation for him. Glenn says he designed a log flume where others had failed. You know, that's where the logs come down a channel really fast. And they were just like flipping out or whatever of the channel. And Schauberger, who understands fluid flows, comes along and Shazam, he's got one working. They call him a parascientist, I notice here. Now, that's kind of interesting. I guess maybe because he was somewhat self-taught. Um, I had on the screen when we started this morning the quote from Grunch of Giants that I go back to. Like, one reason I'm not really a big participant in some of the partisan politics that go on is I don't think political parties are such a great thing. I don't think they're part of the government and they're parties, right? They're like clubs. They're private, really, and they pick their favorite candidate and that's the guy who runs or gal. And, uh, you know, I don't think the FBI owes Democratic Party or Republican Party or Tea Party or Green Party any particular special protection like they don't need to station their people around the servers or whatever if that's the image you might have in other words i think it's a fact of life these days that we get hacked i got hacked my this grunch side of mine uh where's grunch this whole whole website there's a wordpress a sort of front end to it and it's pretty easy to get into WordPress, or at least used to be, I don't know. So I just call GoDaddy and, you know, it costs extra. I do rely on Gmail quite a bit, and to the extent that that's insecure because of government spying or whatever, you know, I put up with that kind of stuff. So I feel like the DNC is too whiny about the Russians hacking them, even if it if that's true. If I take at face value the unproved, so far unproved, stuff about the GRU and all that, still, hey, if you have unprotected servers and you're uh, an important player, then, you know, you're not really adult enough to be playing on the field. I feel like we should just keep hacking the DNC until they learn their les lesson. I know that sounds like heresy, but again, I, I don't think the DNC is any more part of government than like Raytheon, which is probably in reality more a part of government. So uh, anyway, uh, what else did I want to talk about? You've seen how I'm into planning for refugees to have a better lifestyle if they want it to the extent that they wish it and that would include like netflix type services because just because you're living in a tent somewhere doesn't mean you can't learn about stuff the the key thing we have in our current culture that i have that a lot of us have is at least some time to use as we see fit right that's kind of our our income is time we we get to use how we wish that's what the subgenius, I have a Bob Dobbs icon for a head on Facebook. And what's good about that religion is, first of all, it's a spoof religion. It's about, it's a spoof in the sense of, let's not take ourselves too seriously. That's 
sometimes good advice, right? So it's it's great balancing religion. I wouldn't want subgenius to be the one and only religion for the whole world, but as a sort of silly subculture, silly in quotes, I have respect. Okay, this is hey, this is Glenn's apartment. I just love this cat and chicken that they're both being elongified. I think of this as like going into a black hole, right? And getting stringified, as they call it. I know that's just a poetic image. Uh, great, great collection he has. So, um, so I won't say I'm pro impeachment because I know it would just piss off everybody and keep the climate ugly for that to go far. In 2019, we're so close to 2020. But on the other hand, if I were going to impeach, it would be on the basis of the uh, cruise missile attack on Syria without any congressional approval, just knee-jerk, here's what we think happened, here's what we think you want to think happened. It was very bad screenwriting, you know. And that particular chemical attack has unraveled ever since. Even at the time, it looks suspicious and I think the Russians actually did a good job interviewing that little kid because he's in the movies with the fire hose and all that yeah he was not a paid actor he was an unwitting actor he was taken in to that uh well you know the story so that's how I see it you know I'm kind of an RT America watcher I'm being programmed a certain way I admit it and I need to check my facts so I don't rely exclusively on any one source. I think that would be a bad idea. And that includes, you know, people like Pompeo. Just because he thinks he knows something doesn't mean I agree with him. Because I've seen for a long time now that Washington, D.C. is a city that broadcasts lies and misinformation all the time. And I just get tired of it. I don't really want to hear from that city as much. So if you're from another city besides D.C., I might be like all ears more more than I am with that one. You know, I think they've had enough time in the sun and they've kind of botched it, actually. So do I think that the U.S. is bankrupt? I think that we should talk about it more just because... Bucky did get a Medal of Freedom, and to not ex exchange his viewpoint as part of our heritage and education, as you heard from my previous rants, I don't think at the high school level, you don't have the right to call yourself a public school if you censor out this much American history. You're some kind of faux, I call it the USSA, right? It's kind of a faux country. It's very phony. It's very not believable. And uh, that's why Bucky's watching the treasuries here. It's like when people around the world realize that a lot of other people are seeing that something is faux, F-A-U-X, then, you know, well, I may, might want to get my money out. And I can see that, right? Anyway, good news. I got a letter from the IRS that they still want me to pay them $12. And I think that shows we're on the same page, at least. You know, I was a little late late in paying it. I filed on time, but who's got money like that, right? I've got a dependent. Uh, like, I, I see what Bucky's saying here, that the USA was... Um, here's what he says... There is nothing in the words or spirit of the U.S. Declaration of Independence or U.S. Constitution which states or suggests the USA is committed exclusively to the success of the rich. The USA we have known is now bankrupt and extinct. And I just search on that. Grunch, bankrupt and extinct. That's easy to do. So do I not want a United States... I wouldn't say it's that simple. I have writings, USA OS, operating system, OS for operating system. It's a lot of services. You can log in. You don't have to be in the United States to get the value of being a member citizen of the United States. 
So, you know, there may be people who never come to North America who still have the status of American. They can come to North America. They're not prevented from it. But, you know, citizenship is something that in this day and age, a lot of people are citizens of country A and they live in country B. I think it's just going to get more that way. And so I talk a lot about virtual nations. If you're interested in my views as a globalist, so-called, you should check out some videos in the far past. If you know how to use YouTube, find my channel, scroll down, and look for globalism or globalist or any of that in the uh, title of the YouTube, because I'm not afraid to to use that label, Fuller Bucky, who this his thinking is the channel is a lot about. He's famous for his coining um, "think locally." Got that wrong. Think globally, act locally. And some people poured cold water on that idea, saying, oh, we can't really think globally. You know, we should think locally, too. I think uh, Wendell Berry was not a big Fuller fan. But, you know, I, it's it's a little bit mutual in that sense, in my, in, in my regards. I'm not a big fan of his either. So, not that I'm Bucky, but I think the points he makes... Sometimes a little bit too parochial for my taste. All right, so things are chugging along here. I just wanted to say happy gay pride. Oh, yeah, that's tomorrow. Leela's up here. She's going to go there, of course, and uh, has invited me to come down tomorrow downtown. I probably will. That's partly why I'm not going to the impeachment rally. I'm going to save my... I need to work on my classes. What I mean by that is I've got to work on my content for the next week. As a teacher, I uh, take seriously my teaching job. And so I'm going over some of the stuff that I teach and trying to make it fun and entertaining for the students. All right, so talk to you soon. See you later.